Hello everyone, Katsu here. Welcome to Mobius Empire Rising. Alright, let's not waste any more time. Here we go. Alright, so chapter 1, Into Your Hands, it looks like uh, the chapters in this game is pretty self-contained uh, menu screen at the start, and the total game has 676 points. And here's our phone, and the only contact, Professor Reed, from Cognition of course. And that's the map. Now inventory, of course, if you would play at the demo, you know that Malachi here takes pills regularly. Prescription pills. I need to take these or I can get into trouble. And also a bottle of extra strength aspirin. They help with the headaches. Uh, phone and wallet. My wallet. Alright, let's start. So chapter 1 takes place in Venice, or maybe not. This is definitely not Venice, it's New York. Uh, oh, Rector's Antiques, he has a store. So just like Gabriel Knight and his bookstore. Malachi, you're back. Just landed. Are you alright? What did the doctor say? Lots of bruising, but there's no permanent damage. Don't fuss. Malachi, you were in the hospital in Spain for a week. 
A man who evaluates antiques for a living should not have to worry about getting beaten by thugs. The chest Senor Perez was trying to sell was a fake. It's hardly my fault he took my evaluation badly. You need to take security on these jobs. Some of these sellers are dangerous people, and you excel at pushing people's buttons. I'm honest, and that's precisely why my clients hire me. Is there any urgent business? I have a few things to fill you in on. Let me know when you've had a chance to settle in. And how to play? Uh, I don't need this. Let's skip this tutorial. And return to game. Alright, looks like chapter 1 immediately follows all the events in the prologue e-comic. And a suitcase. My suitcase? I can't forget I have my passport in the pocket. I'll take my passport with me. Oh, okay. There's nothing else I need from my suitcase at the moment. So, this is Malachi's store. Sometimes, our customers bring in items for my appraisal. They're kept tucked away behind the screen, so no one tries to buy them. Is there anything in the alcove that urgently needs my appraisal? Not at the moment, no. Uh, a horse sculpture here. A gilded Jerome figurine. Quite rare. Lots of antiquities. All of our items are one of a kind and in excellent condition. I do have a reputation to maintain. A few chests here and there. And what else? Black cabinet. That cabinet is worth a bloody fortune. It's utterly unique. Really? A storefront. Vases. We're right on 7th Avenue. Excellent visibility and good foot traffic. But most of the walk-ins take one look at the price tags and quietly leave. Fortunately, <laughs> most of our business comes from private clients. Yes. Yes, this store is not for regular public. Uh, Gretchen's desk. Is she our assistant? Gretchen's desk is more cosmetic than functional. She does most of her work on a tablet. Uh, more antiques here. Cornucopia. That cornucopia is made of solid gold. Really? Uh, glass cases. The objects in those security boxes are especially valuable. Gretchen gets them down if a serious buyer is interested. Oh, okay. A chinois clock. They usually don't last long in the store. Oh, they are that popular, eh? Alright, let's talk to Gretchen here. Gretchen Stern, my shop manager. She's efficient and intelligent. Very good at what she does. Unfortunately, she can act overly familiar at times. I don't need mothering, or girlfriending, or any in for that matter. <laughs> We should catch up on what's been going on while I was away. Let's do it. All right, upcoming contracts, yes. So what's the next assignment? You just got here. You probably haven't even been to your penthouse yet. That wasn't the question. <sighs> Fine. There's a supposedly undiscovered Rembrandt in Rome for Sotheby's, and two pieces in Egypt for Rutherford's. Take them both. Malika, you just got out of the hospital. You should let your body rest, at least long enough to get used to a time zone. With the economy in the gutter, there are a lot of desperate people right now. Desperate enough to sell Grandma's Harrington, or create a good forgery. I might as well make the money while I can. You're driving yourself too hard. Your body needs- What my body needs is no concern of yours. No. Thanks for reminding me. There was also a new client who called. Something about a government contract. Hmm, so quite busy. What about security? You said in your email that you've been looking into security options? I made a list of the reputable security agencies in New York. You should have a bodyguard travel with you. With the money you earn on these assignments, you can afford it. No, they'd only get in the way and be tiresome. I prefer to travel alone. Fine. There are other options. Yep, it can even be more dangerous with a bodyguard, believe it or not. What other options are you talking about? What other options do you have for security? I've been researching security agencies in various international cities. I can set someone up when you travel, have them meet you at the airport. 
I can't trust someone I've just met. How could I be sure they weren't already bought off? These are reputable agencies. You have to get over your trust issues. Hmm. No other brilliant ideas about security? I have a report on where to buy guns in various countries. It's not a very good option, but it's better than going into a bad situation unarmed. And maybe the mere presence of a gun will remind you not to shoot off your mouth. Gretchen. <laughs> I mean, give your fascinating opinion quite so freely. All right. Maybe we'll try that next time. And what about a new client? Who is this new client? Amble Dexter, 452 Central Park West. He wouldn't say what it was about, just that he needed someone with your expertise. If he wouldn't even say what it's about, then it's not worth my time following up. Well, it is a very upscale address, but do as you please. Very suspicious. Oh, we have a new... Oh, we have a new map location. Alright. That's all for now. Very well. So, where is the penthouse? Is, is it over here? Exit to office. Yep, probably. How did he know I was in Manhattan? And how did he get my cell phone number? Ambo Daxter, I see you are in Manhattan. Please come by at your earliest convenience. I will make it worth your while. 452 Central Park West. Oh, present passport to security. Ambo Daxter. Uh, should we call him up? I don't need to call him right now. I don't need to text him right now. Alright. Just checking all my options here. Alright, let's check out Malachi's office. Huh. Pretty standout painting here in the middle. I've always liked the sense of isolation in that painting. Oh, a pretty awesome frame. I would love to have this in my room. Uh, mask? Dogon masks from Molly. I find it best to have my clients associate me with interesting but unusual finds. The artwork is all chosen for that purpose, and I change it every few months. Are the antiques? I keep some of my favorite objects in my office. That doesn't mean I wouldn't part with them for the right price. Fine china from the early 19th century. Hmm, a Chinese urn. Actually, it looks pretty out of place here in his office. The couch is for the rare times I have a client visit me here. No, thank you. In case I have visitors, as unlikely as that may be. Oh, Malachi's chair. The chair's more modern than the rest of the furniture. Much more comfortable that way. Huh, a bird statue here in the corner. It's an original sculpture by an upcoming artist. It should be a good return on investment someday. Hmm, looks cool. Alright. The desk. The desk looks good and is functional, but it doesn't have a particularly interesting history. Okay, Malachi Rector from the Rector Antiques, okay. Barazzi, Venice, Italy. This way is from. It's a letter from Mr. Barozzi, an antique dealer in Venice. He has a brilliant eye for interesting pieces. He's a little quaint. He insists on sending snail mail. I'd like to see what Barozzi's found. Perhaps I'll be passing through Venice sometime soon. Okay, dear Mr. Rector, I hope this letter finds you and your shop in good health and good fortune. Recently, a unique figurine has come into my hands which I think will be of interest to you. Though I am not certain of its origins, I believe it may be Celtic. I hope you are able to come by the next time you are in Venice to take a look. I hope you are able to come by the next time you are in Venice to take a look. I will keep it set aside for the time being. Sincerely, Rizep Barozzi. Okay, and an article here. Stock market continues dangerous dive. The bleak economy seems to be all the newspapers can talk about these days. So the printed. European economic collapse by 2014. Echoing the United States own precarious econ... Echoing the United States own precarious economic situation. Europe is in similar dire straits. The value of the euro has been declining in parallel with the dollar since early this year. 
and the closing of two major banks in the last six months has led experts to declare that the collapse is inevitable in the coming years. And the New York Stock Exchange closed at an dangerous low yesterday, and speculations for today are not favorable. Experts are already saying that if things don't turn around, this could lead us to another Great Depression era. All eyes are on the White House and demanding both answers and strong financial plan to ensure that this crisis is halted and contained before it can gain real ground. Alright. And now, pills! Medication time! Alright, what about the computer? Let's check our email. I don't use my computer like I used to. Everything is on my phone these days. Oh yeah, that's right. I'd rather use my phone. Fine. Okay, I guess we're finished here. Are we going to see...